maybe getting a sense of numbers. Uh, how many stars are there in um, maybe, I don't know what the radius that's reasonable to think about. I don't know if the observable universe is like way too big to think about, but in terms of when we think about how many habitable planets there are, what are the numbers we're working with in, in your sense? What are the scale? Of Honestly, numbers? the numbers are probably like billions of trillions. Of stars. Yeah, you know, in the UK, I think, I don't know if we do that here, but they will call a billion trillion, where you put like one billion followed by a trillion. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's kind of weird. But here, I don't even know how to say the number, 10 to the 20. Like, if you know what that is, that's one followed by 20 zeros. That's a big number. And we don't have a name for that number. There's so many. <laughs> <laughs> per star, I think we kind of mentioned this. Is there a good sense? There's probably argument about this, but per star, how many planets are there? Is, is there we don't have that number yet, per se. You know, we're not really there. But some people think that there's many planets per star. The, there's this analogy of filling the coffee cup. Like, you know, you don't usually just pour one drop. You fill it. And that planetary systems, we see stars being born that have a disk of gas and dust. And that ultimately forms planets. So the idea, this kind of concept is that planets, so many planets form too many. And eventually some get kicked out and you're left with like a full planetary system, a dynamically full system. And so there have to be a lot because so many form and a bunch survive. That, I mean, that, that makes perfect intuitive sense, right? Like why right, wouldn't right. that happen? Right. Well, there's other thoughts too, though. These big planets that are really close to the star, we think they formed far away from the star where there's enough material to form and they migrated inwards. Hmm. And some of these planets migrating inwards due to interaction with other planets or with the disk itself, they may have cleared it out, like kicked other planets out of the system. So there's a lot of ideas floating around. We're not entirely sure. And what about Earth-like planets? Is that that's another level of uncertainty? That it's a level of uncertainty. If we think of an Earth-like planet being an Earth around a Sun in the same orbit. An Earth-like planet being an Earth-sized planet in an Earth-like orbit about a Sun-like star, we're not there yet. You know, we're not able to detect enough of those to, to give you a hard number. Some people ex have extrapolated, and they will say as many as one in five stars like our Sun could be hosting a true Earth-like planet. Wow. 